Okay, Hunter, just please do some more research. Dude, I'm come on, you're running that. away right now, bro. I'm not running away. You're running the fuck away. You just admitted that it's possible for somebody to be trans without dysphoria. You say trans people don't need gender dysphoria, and then you're not going to answer my question like what a genuine question? question. You could answer with logic. Why what was would the question? Transition, why would someone transition without gender dysphoria? Okay, <laughs> I said this 50 billion times. That's why I'm getting mad. The one where she went on the Joe Rogan podcast and you said that it was hypocritical for her to say that a child at under the age of 18 shouldn't transition because she felt like she was a girl at five. Um, partially, and I'm not trying to get super all technical and semantic or anything, but what she said was that a transgender four-year-old or transgender five-year-old, maybe three-year-old, something around that, five, transgender five-year-old is like a vegan cat. We all know who's making the decisions. The argument she was getting at was that it's not really possible for a child to exist and be trans. But what was hypocritical was that she acknowledged that she herself started to realize she was trans as young as four years old. So that was why it was a, a hypocritical thing. But the difference is, is that she wasn't trans at five. Yes, she was. That she, no, she, she was She said not. that's when she realized she was trans, did she not? N Hunter, you can... You can feel like a boy or a girl, regardless of the gender or the gender you were assigned at birth, but that doesn't mean you're trans. I mean, maybe at the time she wasn't, she didn't, wouldn't have known she was trans yet because no one would have known, I guess, in the moment, because it's still possible that like, yeah, it could have just been like a phase. But now that it's 2020, now that hindsight's 2020, and she talks about starting to experience that gender dysphoria as young as four, then yeah, it's like she was tr trans around the age of four. That's what she said on the Rogan thing. I'll pull up the clip, though, specifically, so that I'm making sure I'm not well, wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. The, maybe I'm wrong, okay? I, I know the clip, but um, still, being trans requires transition. No, so it regardless doesn't. If she had the, yes, it does, Hunter. No, it doesn't. Don't. Okay. Well, yes, it does. Thank you so for somebody much for, to be uh, transgender, they have to start to transition. That's why trans is in transgender. No, no, no. What? Wait, so if somebody's, wait, wait, so if somebody has gender dysphoria, they're not trans until they've actually begun getting treatment? Yeah, if they start to socially transition, then I'd say they're trans, but if you, you just have gender dysphoria, I wouldn't say I you're trans yet. Myself. You're struggling with gender dysphoria. But the gender, okay, <laughs> fine. Maybe if you want to say like the initial feelings of gender dysphoria, maybe it's like right away, it's not like you're trans, OMG. But if you have persistent gender dysphoria and you're diagnosed with gender dysphoria, then yes, yeah, then, then odds are you're, you're trans. Okay, but I don't know again, what, like, I, this is ridiculous. How would somebody, say, that's like saying someone's like not I'm, trans until they've undergone their surgery, but you also just said somebody could be trans even if they socially they're, transitioned. Um, they're socially transitioning, medically transitioning, and surgical transitions. And if you're under the age of 18, you should only be socially transitioning. And Blair White did not socially transition when she was that young. So no, she was not a transgender five-year-old, but she was a Okay, well child then if you just use your pretend definition of transgender, then yeah, then I guess you can get away with that. But that's not what it means. Trans is just somebody whose identity differs from the gender that they otherwise would have been like, quote unquote, assigned at birth based on social stereotypes and that, whatnot. So as soon as she starts dysphoria. feeling like there's a deviation there, and then she's feeling like a struggle with gender dysphoria, and now we look back and know she was tra she's trans. Yeah, she was trans. Hunter, but you do realize being transgender is like having to go through the transition process. You could feel like a boy or a girl, but you don't. You're not trans. Like in in a sense, and Jeffrey Star isn't a trans woman but people would argue that he probably feels like a woman because of how he dresses. Does that make him transgender? Um, no, no. I mean, if he's not identifying differently himself, then no. Okay, because he didn't transition is my point. You have to transition to be trans. Okay, I got you. And I see what you're saying, but hold on a minute. I'm tr first trying to find the clip, okay? When did you feel, if you can remember, when did you feel like something was off? That you um, were supposed to be a girl? Like five. At five. Yeah. When did you feel like something was off and like you were supposed to be a girl at five? That's what she just said. But that's she what, wasn't trans. That's what the clip said. Or being in preschool. Like my, my earliest memories in okay. life were feeling like the only way trans. I can describe she it is like a very intense missile. Hold on. 
misalignment between the way I was perceived and the way I had my self-concept. Um, so I would say five, uh, but obviously I didn't have the words to articulate it at five. Was that when you first started going? Did you go to preschool? Yeah. She's like, I didn't have the words to quite articulate it at the age of five. So you're saying because she didn't start transitioning, just because she had that feeling, that initial feeling of dysphoria, you would say that's not that doesn't actually qu qualify her as trans yet. It's just like the beginning of her figuring out she's trans. Yes. That is what I'm saying. Uh, okay, if so then, if then, then old. now we are getting semantics. So a four-year-old trans kid, so a kid who thinks he's four at the age of trans, it, or <laughs> a kid who thinks he's four at the age of trans. Yes, I'm very talented at rhetoric, as you can see. Um, no, sorry, but if a child is four years old and thinks he might be trans, then how, isn't that the same type of thing? Is somebody calling the shots there? Is it like a vegan cat? Um, I'm not talking about the quote. I'm just calling out the what you said about how she was hypocritical. And I'm but explaining that it's still hypocritical, that your, your changing of the semantics though. here doesn't actually make it's it not be not hypocritical though. anymore. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. Struggling with gender dysphoria is one thing. That's complete, That's like a completely separate thing. You could struggle with gender dysphoria for a long time, but that doesn't mean you're trans yet because you have to transition. That's like obvious. No, it's not because you're you think that being trans is short for transition when it's not even true. Hunter, I'm trans and I struggled with gender dysphoria for a very, very long time. But I wasn't trans when I even again, I felt like I was a boy at a young age. I started to want to dress like a boy, but I didn't know that I was trans. I was just struggling with gender dysphoria. Those are two different. No, things. You're saying because you with wait, wait, if you're struggling you with gender dysphoria and then you go on to to transition, you're trans. That's like saying because yeah. I was wait, 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 that's like saying because when I was really little, I had a lot of OCD, but I didn't know how to articulate that. But I was still struggling with OCD, but I didn't have OCD because I didn't know that I had OCD. That doesn't make any sense. OK, that's like not even the same argument, but um, gender dysphoria, you can struggle with gender dysphoria for a very long time, but that doesn't mean that you're trans yet coming out and saying you're trans is a lot bigger than the actual feeling of gender dysphoria. Coming out and being transgender is a lot more than a feeling of gender dysphoria. So just because someone has but, gender dysphoria, yes, they can be trans later on, but that does not mean they're trans at the time. But wait, hold on. If they are going to come out as trans, does that not start with that feeling? Yeah, it does. Obviously, they need gender dysphoria to be transgender, but just because I have gender dysphoria, well, they don't need gender time, dysphoria to be trans. That's an also trans not because true. It's not transition. Well, first of all, that you don't need dysphoria to be trans. I mean, if we're since we're already in a semantics argument, we might as well get more. Well, what, can you explain to me what the reason for transitioning would be if you don't have gender dysphoria? You wouldn't transition if you didn't have gender dysphoria, but you can still be trans okay, so without again, having okay, gender so dysphoria. <laughs> Point, you need gender dysphoria to be trans. Why no, would someone no, transition you don't. without gender dysphoria? They wouldn't. You don't need to transition to be trans. That's okay, what I'm trying to tell you. You don't need gender dysphoria to be trans. So how are you also saying you wouldn't transition if you didn't have gender you dysphoria? You don't need to transition. If you don't have dysphoria, you probably wouldn't transition. The, the okay, so transition is the, the treatment for the dysphoria. There are some people who might have a gender identity that differs from their biology, but they don't have dysphoria to the extent by which they want to pursue surgery. That person would still be trans though. Yeah, they would. I wouldn't, I, again, not every trans person needs like every single surgery. Anime. Blair White still has her penis, but, but she's no, 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 still I just, a trans. Wait, wait, you just said that someone who doesn't even have gender dysphoria is still trans. I'm, Hunter, what the fuck? No, I'm saying you need gender dysphoria to be transgender. That's all I'm saying. And then you're saying... But I gave you an example that, well, of someone that doesn't have that, and you said they could still be trans. Hunter, I want you to do some more research on some transgender issues, okay? No, I want to ask you one more question, so please. In your views. You're super confident in your views, but you're, you're not getting this at all. Hunter, if there is somebody who has a gender identity years. that differs from their biology... And they don't have dysphoria, so they don't feel super deep discomfort. They don't feel the need to go in transition. They just identify differently. That person That's is trans. Weird. It's just weird. Like, why would you say, well, if you're born as a woman and you're like, yeah, I think I just want to be a guy and you don't have gender dysphoria, like, why, why would you do that? 
Why because would you some do people that? can have a different different gender identity that doesn't carry with it the same degree of stress when your biology doesn't align with that gender identity. There are some people who are comfortable being a woman with a penis, having what they would consider probably a feminine penis even. And that's fine. Okay, Hunter, just please do some more research. Dude, come on, you're running that. away right now, bro. I'm not running away. You're bro. running the fuck away. You just admitted that it's possible for somebody to be trans without dysphoria. You say trans people don't need gender dysphoria, and then you're not going to answer my question. Like what a genuine question? question. You could answer with logic. Why what was would the someone question? Transition, why would someone transition without gender dysphoria? Okay, <laughs> I said this 50 billion times. That's why I'm getting mad. Someone wouldn't transition if they didn't have dysphoria. But having dysphoria isn't what makes you trans. It's what, so makes, what makes you, you have trans? dysphoria. What makes, what you, makes you, wait, you trans? Wait, wait. What makes me, or what makes me trans? What makes me trans? What makes people trans is the fact that their gender identity differs from their biology. And how does that happen? Uh, the way in which they internally perceive themselves, maybe the way they present themselves it socially. Gender dysphoria. No, you don't need dysphoria if you'd rather just present a certain way. Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm not running away. I'm just not hearing this fucking brain dead logic. Have a good one. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Well, okay. I don't, I, <laughs> I don't, I don't even know what to say to that. Okay.